Welcome to this video which hopefully will assist students in setting up their code uh, Codecademy account and you gotta understand the spelling of that word very carefully it is not Code Academy the letter A in Academy is left out so when I go to this website I'm typing in C-O-D-E the A is left out C-A-D-E-M-Y dot com and you'll see this in just a second if you're highly visual as a learner up here in the upper left hand corner notice Code Academy. We say CODA, it's just the way we pronounce it, but the A in the word Academy is omitted. It's just probably that name is taken by some other website possibly. This is a site that is free, very interactive, and it will allow you to learn how to do some of the basic coding languages that are associated with anything in, in web design. One class will be using this for the HTML basics. The other will be using this for something called JavaScript. So the process is actually the same and I'm going to mix these videos as one and hopefully those of you who are very very literal with videos and with learning will be able to adjust to these situations. I'm going to click on the get started button to let you just see how it works. You don't actually do that in the process but it gives you an idea of how interactive this this video is. I'm just typing you can read how this works out. Actually, to, to set up your account, you would go into the right hand side where it says create account. And the process is very straightforward. It's also free. And if you like the association with Facebook, Twitter, Google, you can. I'm choosing not to do that, just to make it very basic. And I'm going to sign up with an email account. You can do it either way. And I'll sign up with one I haven't done before. Michael Sisk at iCloud.com. I don't take mail from students there. I usually don't even take mail from anybody there. Very few people know about that address, so don't bother using it. Just use the colleges because that's the one I respond to. I seldom look at this. It just came with my iPad. Your username and password are totally up to you. And uh, pick something that you're going to remember. Please, please, please write this stuff down if you tend to be very forgetful, especially if you're in classes with lots of accounts and usernames and such. I'm going to call mine Michael E. Sisk, my middle initial, and hope it's not used. And I'll make a password. Now, the password will not be seen by anyone, so you have to remember it and type it in twice. A good password, of course, has lots of different characters in there, upper lowercase letters. Just do what's easier for you. And once you have this sign up procedure taken care of, you're going to click the button that says Get Started. And Code Academy is, is pretty quick about this. There is a possibility that your email will have some kind of message about it. You'll probably get some frequently, and I hope they won't become annoying. But what will happen is you'll come to this little area called Tracks and you'll choose the particular language or concepts you want to use. For the Web 110 Internet Fundamentals class, you'll be looking at the one called Web Fundamentals. This may be a little scary at first. Don't be afraid of it because this is only for a small exercise, participation in class grade, no pressure as far as a letter grade or number grade is concerned. So just make your efforts. I think you'll find this very helpful. If you've always been interested in some languages like Python or Ruby, which are becoming very popular with Web Design or jQuery, query, you can learn that as well. It's a good site. For the Web 115 class, which is normally learning the HTML in a little more depth, we'll be looking at something called JavaScript, which will give you just some interactivity with it. Now, normally you'll just click on these particular items and you'll go straight to it. I'm going to log out. Over here where it says me up at the top in the black bar, just click that me right there, whatever. And if you want to put the avatar or your picture, you can. I'm going to sign out just for letting you see the process if you are one of these more literal or more literal or more nervous students so that you can understand how this works. Now actually when you go to Code Academy, CodeAcademy.com, you will click the sign in button and again you can do your email or your username, whatever is easier for you to remember or to use. And this will allow you to log in every time you'll go to the tracks. I'm going to start right now. I'll do both of these just to give you the concepts. For the Web 115 class, you'll click on JavaScript and you'll have several different functions in here. Again, no pressure on this as far as a big, big grade is concerned. You should be okay. But you'll have several exercises within some larger topics. Topics, For example, in this first one it says Introduction to JavaScript and you go to the one that says Getting Started with Programming. Just click on it and you'll have 
several lessons, one called Getting to Know You, one called Why Learn Programming, and it will give you some ratings on this. Very, very small amount of pressure. It's mostly the, really the student that has the pressure rather than the, the program itself. I would click on Getting to Know You, and it will, you know, you can read this. I'm not going to sit and read it to you, but in this particular case, it just gives some examples of how to understand, in this case, JavaScript with the Web 115 class. It says to type a name in quotes like Ryan. I'm going to type in Michael because that's my first name and then press enter. And it lets me see how it works. And that's my first lesson, basically. What's my name? Again, you're just reading this. To find the length of it, I would type in quotation marks, Michael dot length. You don't need to follow me as you're going along with this. This is a very interactive, very self-explanatory software package and I think you'll be fine with it. If you do have problems, what you may want to do is capture the screens. Mine came out for seven for the length and all is well for that. If I want to capture these lessons and send it through the link as verif through the Blackboard link as verification that it's working, you can do whatever works for your computer. Print screen if you've got that, you can do shift Apple four if you're on if you're on a Mac computer you can use the, I think it's the power button and the, the reset button. It's a combination. I'm going to have to look at what they are on the iPad. Lots of possibilities. On Windows 7, I use something called the snipping tool, which can be obtained by just going to the start menu, going to all programs and choosing accessories, that accessories folder, and the snipping tool can actually be pinned. If you right-click it, it can actually be pinned to the desktop. Pin to start menu, pin to the, desk, uh, to the status bar, rather, wherever you want it. I'm going to click my little snipping tool right here and again whatever works for you click on new and you basically just capture the screen and you'll just do a file save as and it was just save as a picture pretty snip pretty snipple trying to get snipping and simple there it's a pretty simple process to do you'll basically go through the number of lessons that I've asked you to do and just send me a capture of it again please don't make this a pressure point on yourselves now, if you want, for those of you who are in the 110 class, again, a very simple process with this. I would simply log into my account. Once again, I'll do that just a second time, just for practice. You can use your email or your username, whichever you personally prefer. Again, I log in. Whoops, invalid, huh? Oh, let's see. I used the wrong email. I'm so used to Gmail. I went there instead of iCloud. I apologize. You might make that same mistake. So hey, that's okay. You're probably finding out by now that I don't make perfect videos. I do it once and done and get it out there on Blackboard. So you get me very conversationally here. In the case of the Web 110 class, same situation. Log in, except you're going to be choosing Web Fundamentals. Now, I don't want to scare you right here. When you initially start this particular set of exercises, it will look a bit cryptic, very cryptic at first, but I've gotten a document for you that I will place online and give you that shell. So again, don't put pressure on yourselves unnecessarily right here because it's only for attendance for participation online so try to enjoy yourself I would click on the intro to the intro to HTML rather and choose basics and start that lesson it will start with intro to HTML the directions I've given are on blackboard but again I wanted the video because a lot of people feel more comfortable if they have the visual component there and you got the why learn HTML number. You can read this. It's very self-explanatory. You type in your code for HTML. This word strong, for instance, is a fancy word or a tag, as we call it in HTML, that allows all the words between the tag strong and forward slash strong to be bolded. So what would happen in this one, where it says feel free to change this text, if you didn't have the words, the little tags called strong around it, it would just be regular typing, not bolded but in this case it will. If I click result it's going to run that code and you'll see that the words are bolded. And it's again just a little tutorial to let you see how this works. So it's more of a get acquainted with Code Academy lesson this time setting up your account and just figuring out what works. If you have any concerns please contact me. I'm very available by Blackboard messaging, by CCC email, and by phone. And of course, you can always come in my office if you want to as well. I hope this video helps you out. Have a great day.